Oh, and because we bought stuff today. That's a big old pan right there. What size is that bad boy? Welcome to the Beer Thrift Machine YouTube channel where my wife and I actually go to yard sales, garage sales, estate sales to find stuff to flip online for a profit. Huh, some purses. Okay. Now well, let's go to the last Both 50 bucks woofer and speakers. Ugh, that is not, those are like the old school ones, but these are pretty nice. Oh my gosh, they're so hot. They have the, got all the cables. Do you have the bows? Is that the actual bows? Hmm. It'd be like ten dollars. Uh, How about you? Are you doing Because that, that thing's a monster. I think this is a newer one, though. As I sit here and babble to myself about this Bose thing, is actually I was right. I was confused. I do not think that that woofer is going with those speakers after I got them home. Those speakers are actually very expensive. They are the Invisible 300s, but they're actually missing the transmitter. Uh, but the they're still going to go for actually $60 a speaker without the transmitter because I do have the wires. I'm not seeing the... Oh, there's one. That goes to that. Oh, yeah. These are all. Oh, they all are it. We should do 40. Would you do 40 for this? The bows? Okay, I'll take it for 40. Okay. All right, I'll carry the big old woofer. Just make sure the box don't break. There's a big old woofer right here. A lot of these don't sell, but I think this is the newer one. The biggest thing about this one is that it did have the uh, it did have all the cords with it. How much are your willow trees? Yeah, that's okay. Your willow. Thank you. Very. That sun is getting nice and warm. Like this. This is hot. Like it's actually like burning up. Hey, that's Sterling. Mhm. Mm okay. That means that I probably like by the whole. Yeah. Okay, we'll just buy all this. We'll, we'll see how much, you wanna ask how much it is? Feel how hot that is. That is hot. That is hot. You just fry an egg on it. Two, three, you six, in the box. 12. Sure. Okay. 12 bucks. There's a yeah. box for your Thank board. Thank you. For nothing happens to come. I appreciate that. I will tell you, my sister bought an Xterra brand new. Brand spanking new. This is a story for everybody here. We take the Xterra on a drive because we were gonna go to a base that she was gonna be um, stationed in, huh. and she immediately ran her brand new Xterra into a guardrail. Oh, jeez. That's a big old barefoot. That is a big old barefoot. How y'all doing? Good, yourself? Doing good. An electric fence, thread snapper, 15 mile range. Yeah, a lot. Of, there's a lot having them today. Yeah. In the communities, it's insane. Give me an offer. My shoes. Uh, you wouldn't do twenty, would you? You got them at forty. 
No. I do 25. How about on your um your fence um fence module though? This guy right here. What would you give me for it? 40? 10 bucks up. 40? Alright. I want to go ahead and keep this in here. This was a mistake. This was a bad buy. I had bought one of those prior, but not the same company for about uh, 40 bucks and sold it for 120. This one right here is actually only worth 40 bucks. That's nice. I'll do 25 on your Hocus. Okay. There's 20 and 25. Thank you very much. Alrighty, y'all have a good day. You too. Look, Fossil. Good morning, how are you? Ten dollars for the set. Yeah, for the set. Yeah. That's pretty good. You want to hold that? Team no How much is the Sorrells? No furniture for you. I moved from Tahoe. I'm not gonna need those. Pretty. Uh, Who is that? It's a hat. Oh, it's a hat. <laughs> I thought it was a telephone. Yep, yep. I, it does look like those old phones. Huh? Yeah. Yep, New York Giants hat. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's cute, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we downsized when we came here. We used to have a room full of Giants and Yankees. Sure. <laughs> is that five? Did you say this is five bucks? Yeah. Five. We'll do that for five. And you got 15. that for 15? Got that. Sweet. Stuff, so. Nice. All righty. It's a good day. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Great. A little bit better. <laughs> All right, 15, 5, 10, 15. Sweet. There you are. Thank you. No problem. You wouldn't do 10 on these, would you? I sure would. Okay, let's Absolutely. do 10. There Thank you go. You. What is that? Uh -huh. That looks nice. It's got a magnet close. It's a 31 bag. Oh. Okay. What'd you have on that? Uh, five bucks. Uh, I think I'm is it leather? Back. You can always clean it if it's leather. Yeah, I don't Yeah, I was a little lazy. I could have. <laughs> no, no, I was telling her. <laughs> yep. If it's genuine leather, you can clean yeah. it pretty easy. Yeah. 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 Oh, you gave me one. How much for your bag? You said five a piece? Yeah, 15. Okay. That'll work. So I got a coach and a one of those. And then this one is a fossil bag. Very nice. All for five dollars. Five dollars a piece. It's gotta be for a dog. They're all 31. Mm -hmm. How much for your 31 bags? Everything but the duffel bag is $5 each. I mean, 10 for the duffel bag. 10 for the duffel bag. TP. TP link. Look at that, though. Large dog kennel. It is big. Yeah, they're expensive. Do you need one? A dog crate? Uh, so it's a sore subject between us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm about ready to give it away. So. Uh, it's. 
differing opinions on whether to use one or not? No, no, we like creating the dog. The thing is, is that we have one now because we travel around some a lot too. Well, I guess we are using your mom's. My mom and dad's. Right, and it's not, it's, I'm wrong is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna say another word, I'm wrong. And then my next sentence is gonna say, well, how much would you take for it? <laughs> right? I'll give it away, actually. I've had it, I've had it for free posted. They never come pick it up. Really? Because we're, we're actually borrowing her mom and dad's. I'm going to tell my granddaughter, she says, Mom, Momo, don't give anything away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's the right size for her. We have a um, a bull terrier, uh -huh. and we have a little travel, not a little, it's still a pretty big travel kennel that we use, but she doesn't like it because she can't stretch her legs out, obviously, at the house. So then we borrowed her mom and dad's, which is bigger, and she loves it. Let me give you 10 bucks for it. All right. That's so your granddaughter yeah, is. Yeah, that's uh, why yeah. I won't get in trouble. You won't get in trouble, and 10 bucks is a steal of a deal on that. <laughs> All right, thank there you. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Our dog will love it. Let me carry it for you. Hold on. Very happy. Very happy. Fine. You carry it. <laughs> no, not. Nope. Is that a woman's jacket? It is. It is. How much were you asking for it? You know, I just wanted, I just wanted to get rid of it, so I would take 15 for that. I'll get it for 15. That'll work. The dog has three. Yeah, that's a, I like to collect that and make little chia pets out of dog hair. <laughs> <laughs> this jacket. It's brand new. That's nice. Yeah. Which one was the duffel bag? I think it's this one. Ah. Uh, oh, all right. Thank y'all. Man, I saw the price tag on this bad boy. This is a good Columbia one. The MSRP, if I could find it, where is it? Two hundo right there. That's a two hundred dollar jacket. So nobody has been to this community and we are running out of cash at a rapid rate. Kayla's over there looking at stuff and we're getting steals of deals right now because it's so hot outside and it's going on about noon. What do we got here? Tight Lies, Warrior, nothing too terribly special. Hogan. What is that thing? McGuire's. If they're selling this as a set this hogan radio hogan f that brass is pretty neat looking i don't know if they're selling those as a it's kind of a broken set hmm don't fall do not Hey, it's the same camera, um, the same battery we use. How do you open? Camera was probably never used. You have to put it with that. That's pretty nice. Just $10? So they said? I got so much sweat in my sunglasses, can't see nothing. There you go. Yeah, we'll take it for 10. It comes with all this, correct? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you. That's good. Yeah. All right, now that camera in my hand is actually probably pretty good because I'm going by the battery. We're going to use this camera in our ZV-1, but this right here, that was a good eyeball on this one because this is the, we might actually use this camera. I'll have to see what the megapixels are. See, we use the oh, Z. Wow. Yeah, we use the ZV1. This is, I think, it's older model. Uh, now, the ZV1 is this is the RX100. But you ever see the ZEISS? That's the better lens. Oh, cool. And I knew that this was a good camera. It don't go to this box. I will tell you that. I don't think so. 
uh, because it has that lithium battery to it. So. All right, so we are back at the house, and I'm telling you right now, some steals of deals. You saw the camera right here, and this is actually the RX RX 103 series, and it is a really good, high quality camera. Ten dollars is an incredible deal for this. Honestly, it looks like it's never really been used. There's no scratches on the display right there or on the front of it whatsoever. Extremely good condition. Uh, we would keep this because the camera I'm actually filming on is basically like that one's bigger brother, but this does not shoot in 4K. That's the only thing, and we usually use 4K for um, all YouTube content, but this would be excellent for like a beginning camera for YouTube, or it, it would be a good camera for actually, you know, like using it as a camera. So uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and put it up for sale and this camera still can fetch between $300 to $400 and in this condition it's going to be on the higher end. It will come with one battery and uh, it's just a really, really, really nice camera. So you usually don't find this, this type of quality camera out yard sailing because a lot of times people are still going to use them or they're really expensive. Again, if you ever see that right there, Z-E-I-S-S -S lens on a Sony, I would usually go ahead and pick it up for like, I'd have bought this for 50 bucks just because I know that this camera is a decent camera and uh, it looks just like the one I'm holding. It just has different internals. So, because uh, we, we actually are in the market for a new ZV-1 because that's what we use to do all of our vlogs and all of our storage units and everything. And because uh, I might have dropped it, I don't know who dropped it, but it might have been me about a year ago and she's starting to act up a little bit. So this one will be for sale, which is really nice. And then also the jewelry we picked up for only like $2 a bag. Uh, we went through and you heard me say, this is sterling silver, like right off the rip. I saw this one marked uh, 925, which is sterling silver, 92.5% silver. And then all of this we actually found is sterling silver. Most of this, or all of it will actually end up on Kayla's whatnot auctions when it comes to jewelry sales. And if they are broken, not a big deal because we actually still sell like broken lots of sterling silver because it still has value because there's still silver in it. So some incredible deals out there at the yard sales today. That's why we love yard sales. One, got Willow got a new kennel. We were borrowing a kennel and we were too cheap to go out there and buy another kennel. You know, kennels are expensive. They're 150, 200 bucks. The one we were using, I think is like a $350 kennel. That's a lot of money to spend on a kennel. So we were like, you know what? We'll most likely find one in the yard sale. Brought it home, cleaned it really well, bleached it, make sure we wiped it down, and Willow loves it. So that's good. You can really find anything in yard sales. If you are patient enough, you will actually find what you're looking for. We were looking for one, and she was going to give it away, but I was like, you know what? Ten bucks is a steal of a deal on that. Then the camera, the jewelry, just awesome, awesome finds today. Oh, I did want to go over this watch real quick. This was not in this video. This was in a video a little bit ago, and um, I can't find nothing on it. So this is the name of it, Lewis Fifth Avenue Watch. It has like a little certificate here, and then it has, that's what it looks like. It's a Swiss movement. Lewis uh, Swiss Movement 17 Jewels and these diamonds are not real. I did try to test them and they're not real. It doesn't feel like it's super high quality. But then again, I'm not really a watch person. Uh, but the, th the crazy thing is, the only reason I'm asking for help on this is because there's boxes online that have sold for upwards of like 80 bucks, which is crazy. Just the box, not including the watch. Then there's one watch that says diamonds listed for 1100 bucks. So we might have to get this one actually checked out. We got to go do our our gold guy anyway, we got some gold to uh, see if it's real or not. And uh, so we might take this in there with us to see you know, how much it's worth. So again, this is why we love yard sales because you just never know what you're gonna find. Remember, we do have the website, thebeardedthriftmachine.com. If you happen to see anything you like in these videos, message us. Sometimes it's already sold and we apologize, but message us anyway. And then, and also we do have our whatnot auctions every other Saturday on whatnot. That link is also down below. I do appreciate it about watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.